Hey uh, folks, Quill18 here and welcome to the official start of a brand new RimWorld Let's Play here on uh, the Yub Tubs. Uh, there is an episode zero that I've recorded before this, which covers the mod list and other settings. But uh, here at the start of episode one, we are ready to start building our settlement. I think this Let's Play might be called something like Westworld or something like that. I will uh, let you guys know, I've never seen Westworld. Um, I think it's got a Western town and some people are robots in it. So I might be making some really like, <laughs> just, I'm gonna make some assumptions about the TV show uh, in, in some of these things, just to make references that don't actually work because I don't actually know what the television show is. Anyway, here we are ready to set up our new town. We've got a road here and I do really want it to be a Western style town. We've got the main street with like buildings along it. Uh, we're probably gonna have to mine out this whole area here. That's actually slightly inconvenient, this hunk of rock, but we're gonna see what we can do. Now the road's not actually centered on the map. You can see we have a bigger area over here which does make me think that this area back here might be the ideal place to set up our um, our animal pens, our ranching, as well as our farms, for example. But we got a ways to go before we get there. Uh, let's take care of some basics. So we are going to set up our manual priorities, get this ready. We are going to do the thing we normally do where we make sure these are all under one. The two people who can doctor, we've got Doc and we've got Petra. Obviously, Doc is going to be the maybe more significant full-time doctor, but Petra's actually not gonna be bad at it. So I, we're gonna appreciate her uh, being around for doctoring, especially if Doc might need some help. Obviously you can put on South Care, but that's not that good. Um, we've actually got, Wildblood has really high built-in social. Well, eight, which is pretty good right now. Um, Doc and Emmy are the ones with the actual social skill. Uh, Emmy, I do really, in my head, Emmy, who has this uh, this famous ballerina or ballet dancer uh, somewhere? I think I think someone done her wrong, and she pulled a Chicago on them and uh, shot him. But he had it coming, right? And anyway, she's had to escape wherever it is, and that's why she's here. In my head, Emmy has got the darkest past out of anyone in this group. But she wants to open a hotel here, so we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, so yeah, we'll. Um, We'll definitely have, in fact, this is going to be a pretty high priority for the Wardening because we want them, you know, if there's a prisoner sitting around that needs to be fed, we want to make sure they don't starve to death. So we're going to do that. We're going to enable high priority animal handling on Wild Blood. Um, entertainment, we can ignore for now, but in practice, what it's going to be, uh, this is going to be to take care of guests once we've got hospitality. Um, so we are going to want that. Um, I'm going to keep hunting off for now. We're going to figure it out. Now, construction, Smitty's the one with construction passion. But early on, almost certainly, we're going to have to make use of some other people who at least have a little bit of construction skill. We'll see. Wild Blood does want to grow. And in fact, I'm going to make sure that's at a two. Oh, I skipped over cooking. Hang on. So cooking's interesting. Emmy's got passion for it, but she currently only has a skill of two. Um, Doc, who I guess understands maybe hygiene has got a cooking skill of nine. And actually Wild Blood, who I think is more of a like a, a kind of a ranger, likes to be herself in the wild. She knows how to prepare a meal. So early on, I think we might have to do something like this, but very quickly, we are gonna want Emmy. And in fact, I'm gonna put her cooking on a two here. We are going to want her to be the person who spends a lot of time cooking to get her skill up, because that is gonna be for the best going forward. Uh, mining coring on for Petra, that's gonna be okay. Plant cut. Um, yeah, probably the two. And then Smithy, Smitty, we're also going to leave all the crafting on a level three. Training is with training dummies. We'll leave that off for now, but we'll see what we can do about that. Um, I forgot the Smithy also has the, the intellectual passion, but I think it's really going to be Doc that's going to work on that. Um, I don't, I don't even think we've got. Eh, technically, we've got some pawns. We could do some fishing later on. Uh, we don't have riding stuff set up yet, so. Once we get a research bench, we are really going to want Doc to do that. And actually, if we've got a management bench, we want that. We want Doc to manage and then basically spend all their time researching unless there's a patient. We aren't going to have a research bench right away, so Doc will actually spend some time cooking. We might turn on the entertainment a little bit higher for Doc as well or or bring down the research or something. We'll see. Uh, because we might want Doc to do some entertainment, although really that is going to be Emmy's job. I'm a little worried Emmy's going to be busy doing too much cooking. In fact, I, I think probably will do that. If there is a guest to be entertained, Emmy might do that and then cook. That's basically what her order is, right? She'll look after a prisoner, but basically otherwise she entertains. If there's no one to entertain, she's going to spend all her time cooking, which I think is the ideal setup for her. So overall, this is going to be fine for the start, with the exception that I think...
I don't think it's going to matter for Wild Blood because I actually think she's probably going to be stuck doing some growing and not to mention some plant cutting right away. But if we do this, you know what? I will turn off Doc's cooking. You know, I'll turn off with Wild Blood. We'll just have Petra or Emmy do it. She'll get skilled up. These two can help with construction, which is going to be incredibly important early on. Now, I'm tempted to make use of this area here, but it really doesn't fit the aesthetic I want. So even though it's kind of wasteful and unfortunate, I'm going to deconstruct that area. I'm also going to remove the floor over here. It would have been nice to maybe use it as a bit of a base. Okay, let's plan out our buildings. So what I think is that this side of town over here is going to be maybe set up for like the, the, a little bit more proper houses, especially if over here we got sort of ranching and stuff. There's probably going to be some bad smells. We can maybe do our sewer production and stuff over here. Maybe some even some of our workshop kind of things. So what I was thinking, plus, okay, I do want to set up farming here probably long term, although there's a lot of stuff out of the way. Short term, a little farm over here is going to be very, very nice. Um, let's plan some more deconstruction. And what am I looking for? Floors. Remove the floors over here. Get that out of the way. Uh, maybe I'll start running it now. We'll get especially this thing out of the way and we can plan our next series of construction. Um, let me very quickly put down a under temperature. I'm going to put down a campfire over here so we can do some cooking. We'll get down a generic crafting spot and butcher spot over here as well. Just so that we have a few options early on uh, for this. So, oops, not cable. Well, I mean, maybe, but no. What we want to do is butcher creatures if we've got any. And over here... I might not start anything. I mean, if we can make backpacks, but we don't have the fabric or the leather currently. Although, we are going to start hunting pretty soon. Okay, right, let me go ahead and unpause. People are going to auto-equip some stuff, which is really handy-dandy. We do have... Um, if you look at the assignment screen over here, this is the auto quit mod, which does try to assign appropriate roles for things. I'm probably going to overwrite some of these. No, Wild Blood being a Cypher is the one I was concerned about, and she does have that, which is great. So we're going to do that. I think the thing I'm going to do here is, for the assaults, I'm just going to have them equip one thing without a sidearm. And for support, I think I'll do the same thing as well. Just pick up high rate of fire weapons, no sidearm. For the sniper little different because this is going to prioritize long range and I do want a secondary weapon for them uh, that starts up pretty quickly just in case something closes in too much we might want to you know, pull out a, a rifle real fast okay we need colonist beds we need a pen as well yep and we're going to also start by doing some harvest fully grown in this area over here okay the campfire is up I'm going to set up a job here to cook simple meals oh we got a different icon for it probably from the better cooking that's going to be okay. We're going to say X per colonist. So 10 simple meals per colonist we're going to try to keep around. We don't have anywhere to store it yet, but that's going to be okay. We can get some cooking established. That's going to be fine. Um, and we are going to do some planting. We don't need a lot um, to start off with, especially since I think we can do a lot of hunting. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a growing zone over here with rice just to get a very fast turnaround. Why am I not seeing rice? There it is. Rice grows very quickly. It's also got a fairly high um, fertility sensitivity, which is good because we do have the rich soil over here. So then I'm going to make a secondary growing zone to start growing some cotton because we're going to need quite a lot of clothy kind of stuff. Cotton pant. And maybe I'll do a little bit. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, heal root. I wonder if we even have the skill for it. We don't have the skill for it, but we'll plan for that for a little bit. But at some point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable sewing. Um, yeah, right here. This is part of the smart farming mod. It looks a little different because it does a few different things. But what we'll do is we'll disable sewing on these areas, do one last harvest, remove them, and then build somewhere else. Um, we, I do have with the vanilla farming expanded or whatever the ability to do some plowing but you got to redo it and then there's some other mods where you can plow an area once but the default like plowing thing gives you 200 fertility which is really high there are versions for 140 percent and 120 percent which is a little bit more balanced um but it's still just a one-time thing it takes a little bit of time from your workers i decided rather than stall the mod what i might just do 
is cheat in some fertile soil somewhere, which is the same as having plowed it. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep that option open. I can always install that mod later as well, if need be. But uh, for now, we'll just we'll just not worry about it. You know, I thought, ah, I've got enough mods already. Let's. And I wasn't sure if, which one I wanted to commit to, so I figured I'd wait a little bit. We're going to select all these chip chunks and remove them. And yeah, just let a little more deconstruction happen. Um, but I can start doing some plans now. So, oh, and I better uh, pause because I don't want things to get constructed immediately. On this side of town, there's a few things I want. I'm going to want a flop house, first of all. And actually, maybe I'll plan for that now. So a flop house is going to be a cheap series of rooms for people. It's going to start with just our colonist. They're going to start, they're going to have these small rooms just to get kickstarted. It's going to be enough for a single bed and maybe an end table over here, and that's it. Um, later on, we can use it as cheap housing for hospitality as well, um, or something of that nature. I'm going to do a double wide hallway over here. So all I'm going to do for now is plan for these six rooms. Like so. Um, so that's one for each of us plus one extra, just so that we have a symmetry. Now this block is ten long, including the starting tiles. Um, and that's six. So if I do this, we now have room for 12. If I do this, we now have room for 18. That's how much capacity I'm going to want, I think. Um, actually, we don't need quite that many. So by default, Hospitality Mod um, it has people at least 16, or as, as many as 16 people can show up in a party for Hospitality. Um, so I want enough rooms to be able to handle that. It doesn't all have to be in the flop house, of course. Uh, what I was thinking of doing is doing this and then just forbidding that there we go you and you as well we don't need to build all this the reason i'm sort of planning it is because then i also want to plan a sort of the the bathhouse the public the public toilets mm, how wide do i want the halls i think i'm going to want to do space for three over here now we're going to make so sort of the toilet which is toilet sink and a little bit of room to move around, maybe an extra lamp, just to make it not too crowded. So actually, it's going to be basically the same shape over there. Um, two, maybe maybe three public toilets, and then the opposite side. Oh, no, it does have to go a little further. Room for a bathtub. Okay, and these are going to be the public baths for people. Public facilities. Like that. Like that, a door over there, and then we'll put down some stall doors uh, for privacy for these things. Okay, something like that. I don't have a mod that does a, like wide double doors. Maybe I have to do something like that. Anyway, all this because what I want to do next is plan a warehouse. Do this 13 wise. That's 11 internal, which means a wall will be held up. Actually, the same sort of thing. I want 13 wide. And a big L-shaped warehouse over here. Now, we don't need that much space immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan a wall there. And then what I'm going to do... Forbid this. And then unforbid this area. So yeah, big warehouse. But what I'm going to do, and this will make sense for why I'm doing this later on. Let's put, a, let's put lots of doors in here. Is I'm going to put down a stockpile zone. And it's going to allow all, that's fine. But I'm going to put low priority over here. Because we're going to have shop fronts, store fronts. Because A, it'll look good, it'll fit the theme pretty well to have these like stores on Main Street. But also those are going to be zones where our visitors can make purchases. And those things will just probably have shelves, and I'll leave them on normal priority. And so they'll be the, the higher priority for things, but they'll be very specialized for what they carry. And then it'll look nice. We'll have little clothing stores, you know, a little smithy that makes metal gear. It, it'll be great. A, a, a weapon smith, right? Gun shop? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I love that. But the important thing early on is, I mean, maybe bedrooms, although we don't even have the ability to make proper beds. We could just start some bedrolls, but we don't have cloth. We could hunt a bunch for some leather. But in practice, what we're going to do is we are going to be starting with just some sleep spots over here. Um, and then we are going to right, we'll plan one latrine and also a primitive well. I guess just here for now. I'll have to figure... Oh, that's... I guess this one's here. As long as it's got any groundwater, the well just works, right? So, yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, now we can unpause some more. 
Actually, what I think we're gonna do... Can I do this and forbid construct? Oh, I can! Okay, because allow everything doesn't change. So if I click allow everything, it doesn't start the construction. But I guess allow selection, forbid selection, does block construction stuff. So that's good. We don't need the bathroom set up right away. I would probably like indoor storage for our stockpile. And I do want the bedroom set up. So there we go. Doc, who is assigned to some construction, is going to do that. Of course, Smitty is our primary constructing person. Just busy doing a deconstruction there. Construction is a higher priority than deconstruction. So Smitty's probably going to come and do some of that now. Actually, some hauling. Let's, um, actually, let's make a dumping stockpile back here. Yeah, just, you know what? It can be huge. It doesn't actually matter. Just a generic dumping stockpile. We will enable waste over here as well. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's because I, I, I allowed everything. I forgot about that. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. No corpses, no waste, no chunks. We can even change it for, like, steel and stuff like that. But for now, that's going to be okay. All right. So now, can I just hit P here? There we go. Um, no, P apparently... What is, what is that tool doing? Interesting. Because it's P here to haul things. There we go. Get them rocks out of there. Not, I mean, not the most critical thing, but at the same time... I mean, we can lower the unbeauty of the bedrooms and make more room in our stockpile. That seems okay to me. Too bad we didn't start with any puppies. Hopefully we can do that relatively soon. Now, we do have the butcher spot. I think we should take a look to see what we can hunt immediately. We don't have a pen yet. There's more horses out there. Wow. Here, um, wow, these are all things we, it'd be great to tame some of these. Oh, we'll just we'll just hunt some of the horses for horse meat right now. We should have really good animals in this area. It should be a pretty consistent source of wildlife. But yeah, taming some alpacas for some wool later. I don't know. I mean, we're getting plenty of leather, and I'm hoping to grow plenty of cotton as well. But yeah, wild blood will theoretically go and do some hunting. You did equip yourself with excellent. You've got yourself your rifle, and you do have a whiskey bottle in your hand. You can melee with. That's good. Cutting some oak trees. Oh yeah, that's to make room for our. Um, our growing area. Great right, wild blood. Yeah, might not hunt in because we do have the grow and plant cut. Actually, your hunt's not even enabled. That's right. I'll give you a hunt on a three. But we don't actually have to rush the hunting. We've got a little bit of meals right now. We've got some stuff to do. I mean, I'm hoping we're okay. I don't know. Maybe, should we do hunting a little bit higher priority? Well, I think the growing and plant cutting has got to be higher. I could turn it on for someone else. Petra could go hunting. Mm hmm. Let's grab the survival rifle. Petra. Hunting over mining court. Well, that's literally not a job. So Petra's doing just doing hauling right now. Which isn't a bad job. But no, let's throw a little bit of hunting in there for you there, uh, Petra. Oh, sorry. I clicked Emma, but Petra's just relaxing. Okay, sorry. Click the wrong person. Boom, 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 boom. Petra, you rock! Oh, no! All right, let's go to speed three. We do need a pen. I could make a little pen for now. I want to do a big one later, but I guess for now we could do a little tiny uh, thing. Well, I probably want to get my proper buildings up first. I think under miscellaneous, I do have a caravan hitching spot, and I believe if anyone starts to wander away, they will tie them up to the caravan hitching spot, which is kind of nice. Trading spot. Yeah, we'll be building some of those later. I'm gonna make a little village green is gonna be the idea. I love I love the little outdoor cooking. A little camp being set up. And our first little cabins over here as well. I'm happy the bedrooms are gonna be first, actually. It's very convenient. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a chop wood on that so that our actual tree cutter comes and takes care of that for us. I guess that's still gonna be indoors. Um I could build a temporary wall here, but we are gonna want private bedrooms rather than a barracks. So if I just ask for some... See, look at that. See, the horses have been hitched up so they can't wander around. I don't... I'm hoping they can still feed themselves. Not... Well, maybe someone will be able to handle them or something. But yeah, we'll try to get a, at least a tiny little pen set up fairly quickly. There we go. Cut that. 
not sure enough to get wood, but that's okay. That'll get Wild Blood to come over here and do that. Better chance to get more wood out of it, which is going to be okay. Construction level shooting! Petra! All right! We're going to get some Tesco lasagna going on. <laughs> I've never eaten horse meat, but I would. I mean, I think horses are really intelligent and cool and everything like that, but if I'm willing to eat you know, cows and pigs, who are also pretty, like, cow pigs are really brilliant and cool. If I'm willing to eat them, wouldn't it be wrong to not also eat a horse? I don't know. Monster and Violet. I feel like I should rename these. I don't know. I guess they're fine. They don't seem... I mean, Violet seems like maybe a classic... Uh, well, maybe Monsters. Maybe he's uh, maybe he's kind of tough to ride. He got a nickname Monster early on. I can't, Actually, I do like that. I do like that a lot. Dun, dun, dun. So we're sleeping here. I mean, some of them even have enclosed bedrooms. They're all sleeping on the floor, so they got some mood debuffs. But, you know, they've got those, like early colony expectation things, right? Initial optimism, very low expectations. We're going to be fine. Happy to wearing a cowboy hat. I don't think people will get a debuff from not wearing a cowboy hat. So if we take a look at... So Petra and Emmy, interestingly enough, did not spawn with cowboy hats. Even though both genders... Maybe I just packed three, and these guys just grabbed the first one. But both genders do have the head things. Wait, you have uncovered groin chest hair. Yeah, your hat is uncovered. So yeah, you don't get a boost from wearing a, a you, you don't get a penalty from not wearing a cowboy hat, but you do get a penalty from having your head uncovered. It's very unseemly. Well, we'll try to get some hats going soon. There we go. Technically, everyone's got an enclosed bedroom now, and we'll, we'll close the storage as well. And yeah, butchering should happen. Emmy's still asleep. Can I encourage you to butcher here, Emmy? Thanks. <laughs> Butchering a horse in front of the other horses. Let this be a lesson to you. You'd better behave. I guess I could have had you just drop it in place, actually. Let someone else haul it, but... Recreation. Yeah, we do need some. You're not wrong about that. So I was thinking I'd build the hotel over here, right? So you get the cheap flop house and the public baths. You don't want to be too close to public baths, but we can have, like, the fancier hotel next to the cheap-ass hotel, right? This is where you want to really be. And then on the other side, we'll have, like, the shops, personal residences... Etc. Um, normally, the residences would be on the, like, above ground. You know, depending on if you're American or European or whatever. Second story or first story. But yeah, just above ground. Upstairs. Uh, but of course, we don't have Z-levels here in RimWorld. Um, which I absolutely do not complain about. Not every game needs to have Z-levels. So instead, we'll be building the house a little bit longer. So we have sort of... I'm thinking we're going to have, like, a shop front. Then a workshop. And then the bedroom... Uh, private bathroom area behind that and not all of our colonists are going to have their own individual houses some are going to live in the flop house so anyone who's maybe a little bit more important and anyone who's going to be producing goods that feels like they should have a store attached to it they will have those um, and other people might just sleep in here we will see. All right, the well is up, so we got some water, which is good. We're going to deconstruct this area over here, which might not be the best use for a constructor, but at the same time, th these runes don't belong on our map. It doesn't feel right. Doc's got... Oh, plant from cutting these trees down. That's funny. Wild blood, what are you up to? You are sowing our plants over here, which is good. You know what? I probably should have made... There you go. Preferred. Important. Critical. Yeah, let's make the rice area critical. So this is the smart... Farming mod, I think. Let's set priorities. Does give you a preview of how much nutrition we're expected to have. So about 11 days worth of nutrition from this rice thing. Now, how long does rice take to grow? Lifespan's 24 days. Growing time, 3 days. Yes, yeah, so this is before it rots. So this should be tr generating enough nutrition for us, if I'm reading this right. 11 days worth. And we get it... Do we get it every 3? I don't know if it actually grows that quickly. Earliest harvest day, the 5th of April, May. Yeah, I guess so. The three might be accurate. So in theory, this could maybe keep us fed short term. Especially since we do have plenty of hunting options. And there's probably some wild plants around as well. There you go. We're getting that done, which is great. Smithy, Smitty's going to help build the roof as well. I probably want another door over here too. But for now, this is going to be okay. And then what I can probably do is unforbid the bathrooms. Oh, which does remind me, though. Hygiene, wood install door. And yeah, the different wood types are from the vanilla architect mod. Um, they don't. There's not actually different types of wood. 
they're all identical except they have a slightly different color tone so you can use different coloration for things if you want uh, but now what we're going to do is we are going to allow selection over here not going to bother with the basin or the tubs right now we're just going to have things ready to go for when we get proper plumbing which isn't too far away i think we're gonna make extensive use of uh, windmills part of me is actually wondering if like just in our heads we might reflavor the power we might go like with a like a cattle punk kind of theme where instead of having generators that generate actual electricity they're just like filling like high pressure piping systems and everything is like steam powered or just pressure powered it's not the steam itself it's just the high pressure pipes so like in my head we don't have like large turbines to produce electricity instead lamps and things each of them have like we have these like micro turbine technology so you're just hooking up the lamp into the hoses from our pneumatic system and that's just powering a small little turbine in the lamp to light things up and that's kind of how i might kind of flavor things in my head a bit i really like it it's sort of like a little like uh, how in Fallout, right? They like manage to miniaturize tiny little fusion reactors or fission reactors, I suppose. Small fission reactors. Um, and so they're in like every single appliance, robot, car. <laughs> so that's, that's sort of what I'm thinking. Small little steam turbines inside of each little home appliance kind of thing. Again, I mean, we're going to accept that we're in a higher tech world overall. And, you know, people are going to show up with laser guns, but... Maybe we can do a bit of a mix of different flavors. All right, Doc's gonna keep hauling a little bit here. I really would like to get Doc's house up probably the soonest because it is going to act as a hospital, um, the research section as well. Doc's is kind of gonna be a priority. I'm gonna finish the bathrooms and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out Doc's place over here. Um, and we'll start across from a flop house. We are gonna have to get, cut this down. This is probably gonna be some overhead mountain. I don't think I'm running one of the mods that lets you remove overhead mountain, unfortunately. I mean, it'll be fine once we get our own walls up though. That should be okay. I guess one of the questions too, are we gonna wanna build a cross street? Maybe I do, and maybe it should be right here. Maybe this should be a corner where on one corner it's the flop house, the other corner is the actual inn. I like it. Now, one of the things I'm not sure about is what to do for like a road texture. Um, we've got a few. We've got a few more that will be unlocked as well when we go forward. Maybe, maybe just cobblestone? This road is, is it like three or four tiles wide? It's four currently. I do want to make plans for, like, maybe a bit of a sidewalk, too. Like, I want it to look like a proper road, but I'm hoping not to lose too much of our space here. <clears throat> it's going to be kind of cool if it looked dirt, but, like, with, like, ruts from wagons. That would also be kind of nice. I don't know how to visually design that. Okay, we have a little alley that's three wide. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow five tiles of space. No. I think I want more than that. Because I think in front of my houses, I'm going to want... These little planter boxes. Some of them will actually have like plant, like maybe growing plants, but a lot of it is going to be like maybe cosmetics. Now, weirdly, annoyingly, these these planter boxes don't let you plant everything. Now, I'm fine with it not letting you plant everything, but it doesn't let you plant flowers for some reason. I guess they didn't want to compete with actual flower pots, maybe. But yeah, the planter box, or I don't think either one of these. This is just a fixed size. Um, quite large actually which is interesting um and then this one here you get to shape it however you want uh it's got a penalty to cleanliness but um you can grow tinctura and that does look a little bit like a flower so i kind of like that so i was thinking in front of the houses i might do some of these flower boxes maybe have little gardens so i'd like that and then i would like probably some sort of sidewalk equivalent which later on like could be all kinds of tiles but you know early on could just be like a little little wooden walk Right, so we allow that much space. I did build a little far back over here. And maybe, you know, we accept the fact that there's going to be a larger distance for the the main street over here. Maybe we do that. And then we accept the fact that it's going to be like four tiles wide. I don't have any kind of stone right now. Um, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know what we're going to end up with a lot. But so we're not quite lined up yet. I mean, we, we are going to lose a lot of space to what I've done here, but that, that's kind of okay. I mean, I guess I could. It's not too late to move things up, but I don't think I want to. 
I think... See, it does change width in a few areas. I think... We're going to go with three tiles wide for the road. I'm just going to do this just to make it a little clear that I'm doing things. But this is going to be three tiles wide for the road itself. Then we're going to have more sidewalk. Then there's going to be just another little gap here. A little walk up to the thing. A little gap for like a planter or like a, we put a little fence there to make it look like it's a hitching post for horses or something of that nature. And then we go and build a building over there. So overall, this means nine tiles of space between buildings. Do I want to do the same pattern on the other side? I don't think so, because I think things are still mostly going to face this way, but we are going to want a road to be able to reach back here. Um, we do have the alleys that are three wide. I think I'll do the side roads about five wide. Maybe like a one tile sidewalk. And then still do three tiles for kind of the road itself. And then a one tile wide sidewalk that goes that way. I think I kind of like that idea. Just forbid all this for now. It was just here for space planning. Same thing with that. I think that'll look kind of neat. There is um the packed dirt option too. It uh, It's not pretty. But it does move faster. We might do a lot of packed dirt early on. Doesn't take any material at all. Maybe I can, I can replace the main road with that for now. I don't know. Let's not overwork our people any more than I already have. I do I do want to work on Doc's house. Uh, oh, it's 31 minutes into the episode. I guess I'm going to put a cut in here. But we're going to start next episode with planning out Doc's house. Um, and if, I don't know if this road is going to continue out this way or not. But I'm going to plan to have Doc's house kind of kitty-corner to what might be this intersection. Or, oh, you know what? I'm going to want to do the... Oh, I can't do the village green here. Damn. This mountain is kind of inconvenient. I can't do it there because it doesn't have the, the ground that allows it. I suppose I could do the village green here and then put the hotel next to that. Or I could cheat and replace the stone here with just some sort of dirt so that I can... All I want to do is it's just going to be this lawn plot. That's all. And I don't think I can lawn on this. No. That's all I want to do is I just want to put grass in the area. I, I, might, I might cheat this little mountain out of the way. Because... This run is going to be all about aesthetics matter. Damn it. We're playing we're playing City Skylands, but in RimWorld is what's happening here. And of course, tons of people are going to die. But in that respect, it's exactly the same as my normal City Skylines run. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. It does look like these horses are eating here being hitched up. So that's nice, despite the fact that we don't have a pen. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.